Hey guys, welcome to TST Garage. I'm Bart, and today in the shop with me, I have a 2016 and up Yamaha XSR 900. Over the next couple days, we will be transforming this bike into a TST spec version. All the parts that you see in front of me will be mounted on this bike, and we will be performing video installation instructions on each and every one of these parts. You can watch each video on our YouTube channel or on our website. I hope we'll see you there. In this video, we'll show you how to install the TST Industries Gen 2 flasher relay in about two minutes. We will also show you how to adjust it. All right, so the installation of this part is actually really simple. Before we jump into the installation, I just wanna give you guys a quick synopsis of what this part does. Chances are you already know when you change OEM style incandescent signal lamps to LED type lamps, you will experience something like this. We call it the hyper flash. Your relay is driving the signal lamps at a much faster rate than the OEM 85 cycles per minute rate. This is a plug and play component. Pop out the OEM unit, plug this back in, it mounts to the rest of the bike in the very same way as the OEM one does and just takes care of your problem instantly and gives you a nice professional installation without the use of load ba balancing resistors. Now our unit is actually adjustable. If you slip it out of, slip the circuit out of the cover, it will access this little adjuster, turning it clockwise versus counterclockwise, speeds it up, slows it down. I will show you on the bike what that does. So let's hop on over to the compartment under the seat and make the connection. Our OEM relay is situated right here. You can just pull it up off its plastic tab keeper and then press on this feature and withdraw it from the plug. As you can see, same plug on our unit. We'll reuse this rubber mounting component and we can just slip off the OEM unit. Get it right back on the tab on the TST Industries Gen 2 relay. Plug it back in, slip that over the tab keeper. And if you don't want to go beyond 85 cycles per minute, now you're done, replace the seat, you're good to go. If you do want to get fancy with the flash rate or you're just curious on what's possible with this relay, pop this red part off, circuit will come out. And I just want to let you guys know once you plug this in, power up the bike, you have to hold it in your hand so that it doesn't ground out against something. There's a lot of open conductors here that can ground out short and cause a problem. So I'll plug it back in, in the same orientation that it would be plugged in through this plug and grab a small screwdriver, hold this away from any other components, power up the bike get a signal on that I can see. So as you can see right now, it's signaling at the 85 cycle per minute, 85 cycles per minute rate that is preset on these units. I can slow it down to something pretty ridiculous. And then we could also have a disco rave to the opposite side. So for me, I'm gonna go back to this rate. This looks pretty good to me. Power down the bike, rebuild the unit. When you go to slide this back in, you have to slide it into this channel that is provided in the housing. That's the only way it'll slide in. Get the plug portion back on, snaps in place. Voila, we're done. So in reality, this installation really takes about a minute and the part really does what it's supposed to do. It's really simple and compact and just replaces the OEM unit. If you like what you've seen here, you like our videos, give us a like, thumbs up, drop us a comment, we like hearing from you. Other than that, I hope you head on over to tstindustries.com where you could see more of parts like this and check out more information on this part and make your purchase there. See you guys.